Hello and welcome to the prime episode of uh, Cooking with Mermo. I am your host, uh, Bougie Mermo, and I have my assistants in the kitchen, Mon Chien, yes, Piper, and um, Isis, all the other Sissy and Poopa. Uh, we have today a special. I have something I have never tried before, and this is a filet of sole. That would be poisson, fish. The first step is, of course, to prepare the poisson. Uh, I have here some uh, uh, filet from the uh, straw, the gorgia, and uh, I have washed this very gently, and. Uh, I am now going to put them on uh, the paper, paper towel to pat them dry and get them um, a bit more, uh, how you say, not wet. Um, don't, uh, don't know the word. Um, to help stick this spice as we are going to spice this. Uh, with some uh, spices, as one does. Now I did get uh, several pieces of the poisson, uh, as um, it was, uh, how you say, the clearance. Uh, the fish is old, um, and uh, it was. Uh, at its expire date, so um, they had it uh, cheap, inexpensive. Some people say, Chef, why use such inexpensive fish? Why use, why use this? You have your choice of uh, very good fish. Uh, why do this? I say two reasons. One, challenge. This is something new. And number two, Budget. I am in a place where such fish is unavailable fresh, so I use what I can. Besides, this was on clearance. This is very sticky. Once the fish fillets have been dried, uh, the uh, patted dry, we are going to season them. Now the seasonings on this is very simple. We are going to use salt and pepper perhaps a little bit of garlic, and uh, that is it. So we will put these seasonings on. Uh, then I have a little bit of dill that I will put on uh, for the finish. Uh, dill is better finished than cooked. Uh, and we will be making a sauce. And we start with some salt. Uh, this is a basic seasoning for most dishes. Uh, salt pulls our flavor out, enhances, and uh, works chemistry with the proteins in the meat. Uh, I am using a sea salt, a natural sea salt. You can tell by the little flecks of sand. But chef, some of you say, where are you using the stovetop for the preparation? And I say, because I am in a small kitchen, and there is very little counter space, and this is perfect, it's right next to the sink. All uh, right, now we try the pepper. Uh, I like a lot of pepper, but uh, you maybe not so much. It depends on your taste. You season to your taste, not to mine. Mine may be better than yours, but uh, you know yours is yours. Um, I am using a coarse black pepper. I do not have the fleshly, fleshly ground, uh, as I am not in a place with a pepper grinder. I am on, a, how you say, almost vacation, um, sequestration, uh, hiding from authorities. Uh, not exactly sure which is uh, the appropriate one, but uh, oh, this fish is sticky. So sticky. Uh, make sure to season both sides. You want to get the flavor in from the bottom and the top, because top-down only flavor is uh, somehow insubstantial. You need a little bit of bottom in your cooking. 
You want the bottom. You want some bottoming in your cooking. Uh, I have heard a chef refer to this as pepper, pepper, pepper. Uh, do not worry, there is a redundant pepperization, but uh, I think it may have something to do with the amount of pepper, pepper, pepper. Also have some garlic. Uh, I am using dried garlic powder. Uh, you can use fresh garlic here, but I have found that for cooking, the um, dried, granulated garlic works um, quite well, and uh, perhaps even better than the, the fresh garlic. And put those there. This is almost like Play-Doh or snot, snot fish. But if it's not fish, what is? Eh? <laughs> I make a joke. Always keep a towel around. It is much like uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Always know where your towel is. If you do not know where your towel is, use your pants. This is why they make laundry. Now comes the important part. We must uh, let this rest and um, infuse the flavors, the seasoning into the, the flesh and snot of the fish to uh, um, word, um, je ne sais, uh, manipulate the um, proteins in the flesh. Uh, it will change the texture and uh, make it better. This is a good word, better. Especially with cooking, because worse is not good. At this point, uh, the fishies have been sitting for uh, approximately three hours, uh, absorbing the salt and letting the, uh, the, the meat uh, tenderize and restabilize and become the new thing that it is becoming. So now, what we need to do is get some flour. Uh, I'm not exactly a normal flour. There are different kinds that you can use. Uh, at this point, I uh, just use whatever butter, you, uh, whatever flour you have available. If it is uh, all-purpose flour, this uh, this works fine. Uh, you will notice the special uh, uh, texture on the foil here. This is uh, to raise the the, the fillets up from the bottom. Uh, to provide some space for the uh, for when we flip over, so it does not stick to the um, non-stick pan. So we're going to start with the uh, the fish here, the fillet. Um, again, it's still a very slimy, although they are better now. A uh, little bit of fish slime stayed behind there. We'll leave that. Uh, Another year. This is sticky, oh, sticky fish. Uh, so sticky. <clears throat> now we have the bag of unrecognized white powder, uh, otherwise known as flour. And we cut, cut the fish the filet with a generous, but a generous uh, ploughing of flour. You want to get all surfaces covered. And uh, shake gently. Uh, do the same here. Drag through the, the flour. Uh, you want to get uh, most of the flour off. Uh, my assistant is groaning. This would be uh, La Chienne Pepper. Uh, she, is, uh, she smells the fish and she wants, she wants the stinky fish. Um, she likes the stinky fish. So we get uh, butter, uh, not butter, this flour. Butter is different. Uh, 
we got the flour on all the surface of the fish and put it back on the chair here make sure we get all the surfaces covered there's more missing here this uh, is cover uh, we do the same for the other two these are more more than what you think of when uh, is fish uh, you have more stable um, no we don't want we want to keep that on the fish yes it's not going to come off my finger is a firmer texture not the squishy of uh, squishy slimy of this uh, we do this same to make sure all the all the fish are covered and uh, do all the do all the cover get all the surface all the surface do not just go most of surface if you can uh, this should not uh, be oh it's a crack in the middle uh, this one is uh, fairly good we put here uh, this one I think we may have uh, some no it's okay it's not bad and uh, you notice we have lost some of this space so we uh, put some of space back on get a little extra flour but uh, it's no problem so now we have the flour uh, fish fillet and there are many ways in which we can cook this uh, fillet uh, the way we are going to do it today is with a pan uh, there are oven made methods uh, I have seen grill the grilling uh, grilling fish is, is difficult uh, but uh, the pan fry is easy and uh, slightly messy but uh, we you know we make mess in the kitchen that's what kitchen is for yes um, this is a, a very nice uh, ceramic coated pan uh, I'm going to put uh, some oil in here we heat to about 180 degrees um, uh, 350 for your you uh, silly people uh, and we bring this to heat before before we put the fish in uh, do not put in and then heat up otherwise your fish get uh, oily greasy is uh, is bad bad as this heats up uh, I'm going to turn on the fan because uh, we are cooking fish and uh, cooking fish can smell bad in the kitchen for a long time it linger uh, so we turn on fan to pull the bad stuff out uh, we used oil with a high smoke point you can use canola um, uh, the flour um, avocado uh, grape seed is a good one I have this here now so I use um, we have some generous oil in the pan um, you do not need uh, I tend to like this a bit better um, it uh, with the fish in the flour it tends to good uh, good coat put on the fish we want to let this heat until it starts to shimmer you can also check by uh, smell uh, if you know the smell of uh, if you've been to uh, place where deep fry uh, donuts uh, you can uh, you smell this this smell when it uh, smells sort of nutty uh, and a bit sweet this is uh, this is getting very close and what we want to do is add a bit of butter to the oil now you can add the butter right away um, when just before you start cooking the fish you can add it while you're cooking the fish I like to add just before put the fish in uh, but we'll get to that in a minute I show you the simmer
This does not take long per side, uh, perhaps uh, three to four minutes. Uh, you can take and very gently flip them over. Yay! Again, go away from you, not toward you. Or you will get, uh, how you say, ow. <laughs> I could probably have let this go for a few more minutes, but uh, we do for now. In the meantime, let us get started on this sauce. In a medium saucepan, I would go to a medium low heat. Uh, we will uh, start there. And the first thing we do is we add about one half cup of butter. As I said, butter is one of the basic food groups. Uh, especially when you are cooking good. For those of you who cook mediocre, you can use uh, marine. But if you do, please do not look at me when you do this thing. Now we will let this melt before we add the rest of the ingredients. But chef, I hear you say, why do you not use a saucepan? Why do you use a bowl instead of a saucepan with a handle? Uh, isn't a bowl going to be much more difficult to pick up and move and maneuver? And to this I say, you are a real pain in my butt. Uh, these fillets, as I got them, were already uh, deboned. So it's no, uh, no difficulty at all trying to remove the bones. Uh, most soul, if you get uh, fresh, you have to remove skin on both sides uh, and uh, you have to disassemble and then unzip the bones and reassemble. It's, it's very, it's uh, very intensive. This uh, is easy. This, uh, this is like frying fish. It is frying fish. One nice tool I would recommend is uh, this uh, sticky, sticky hot thing. Uh, it tells you when your meat is Accomplish, you want to get to 74 degrees, uh, 165 for you fascists. Um, we are done here. I'm going to do one, uh, one last clip. One last clip and then uh, remove these, these fishes. Oh, it's luxury. Golden brown. So pretty. Do one clip here, one last clip here. Then we place on a paper, paper plate. Um, paper plate absorb oil. As you will have uh, the oil when you do this method. And there we have the um, fish done uh, just right, you look golden, uh, golden crispy there. This is all uh, done. The oil gets absorbed by uh, paper plates, so we sit here while we cook other things. Uh, and the sauce, we need to look at the sauce. Now the butter, the butter, she has melt. Um, you see in here the whitish spots uh, starting on the side. You want to keep this going until they start to turn brown. The browning adds a uh, flavor. It's called a Maillard reaction. And it is, uh, it is one of the delicious uh, things with this food. You can see the butter uh, starting to foam. And uh, the foam is brown. You can look, you see the color is turned nicely into a golden, golden color. This is beautiful. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we add the juice of one half lemon. Stir, 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 stir. Make sure that it is uh, mixed and emulsified. Okay, you can see it start to boil just a little. Then we add, I use uh, sour cream, one large dollop, about uh, one half cup. 125 milliliter. St 
there. You can reduce the heat down to a low. Stir this in. At this point you can add uh, herbs if you like. Oh, mon chien. She wants something. I'm not sure what it is other than food. But no food for dog right now. We wait. Uh, I did taste on this and uh, I added the other half stick of butter. Uh, turns out half lemon is uh, too, too, too sour for uh, this as is. So more butter, more butter, always better. As this butter has melted, so we taste again. Oh, it's not quite melt, so, but it's better. Ah, yes. Much smooth. I'm going to add uh, some dill. I uh, said that we could add dill. I like dill at the end for the finish, but uh, we put some in the sauce. As, uh, if flavor the sauce, give it, um, give it a kick. Kick, the idea of bam, as uh, MRL say. The dill is stingy. This is, uh, of course, dried dill, because uh, fresh dill is very difficult to come by uh, in, in the cold. Unless you have a uh, plant, and much of this is unplanted. So, we add the dill. We let this infuse into the sauce. On these fishes are done, we turn off the heat. And we get the uh, other pepper plate. Pepper is uh, good for the drying. We flip. Oh, look, it's so, so, so good. Yes, so good color, so good crunch. The must feel the texture. Uh, it's adorable. You flip. Ah, it's flip lovely. Ah, it's good. Drop some drain into the pan. Ah, la chien, la chien, they see. Ah, oh, the smell. The smell is wonderful. It no longer smells like fishy and uh, desperate. It smells mm, so good. Ooh. Mon Dieu. Who are you? Ooh. I am the spirit of Dover Soul. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I cannot. Can you turn the light down? It, uh, it bothers my eyes. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, but... Uh, I am the spirit I, of... Let me turn the fan off. Uh, uh, much easier to hear now. Uh, who did you say you were? I am the spirit of Dover Soul, and ye have eaten of my flesh. Dover Soul? Uh, this, uh, this person, this fish, this filet? Uh, well, okay, you're about to. But, uh, all right, I'm here to give ye the sea monster's curse. A curse? For fish? Ye shall never again eat of the fine worm, nor the sediment at the bottom of the ocean. Ye shall be stricken to land only. Ye shall breathe air and no more breathe the beautiful water of the seas. It, 
that's not a very good chaos. I mean, I don't uh, eat bottom water all the time. Yeah, well, fish curses are a little different down here, you know. Your accent is very bad. Ah, well, <laughs> says you. Yeah, all right. Well, I think that is it, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, cook for my mother. Uh, we try, see if she likes. Uh, smells good. I think I may have done good here. So, uh, until next time, au revoir. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I hope your mom likes it, okay? Because, uh, you know, I was pretty tasty back in my day. I was born in 1822. I went to school in a wandering sea circus. Okay. Poisson is such a better word. People say, Chef, why do you use inexpensive cuts of fish? You could have your choice of fish, of poisson. Uh, let's try that again. This is very sticky. That is one of my chains, drinking water. She's very good at the water drinking. She likes water. She's a water dog. She's not a dog made of water. She is uh, just a dog that likes water. Both dogs like water, but one likes to swim in it more than the other. Uh, I'll let you guess which one is which. All right, we try that again. And we will be making a sauce. I think. So we will start with some salt. Uh, I am using some sea salt here. You can use whatever you like, but <laughs> <coughs> oh goodness. And I have a phone call. I will check my phone because I need to see who is calling. It turns out to have been a very important phone call about my vehicle's extended warranty. Who knew? I should turn off the camera, but uh, my end is covered with flour. Well, there are several ways in which you can um, cook this, uh, this fish with the flour. Uh, we are going to use a pan, uh, some call a salt pan. Uh, it's, uh, Whatever kind of pan you have, uh, this one is a very nice non-stick uh, ceramic uh, coat and we put this on the stove on the medium-high, no, the medium-high medium heat. Uh, we want to get oil to around uh, 180 C, three, uh, 350 in, in your, your imperial units. Uh, Try that again. Asking all of these questions. Jostling the tripod with your nose. Because you are curious shin who wants to smell all the things. None of this is for you, Pepe. None. None. None of this. They talk they very healthy. Ye shall never again. Something fell off of me face. I don't know where it went. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. <laughs>